The percentage of Asian Americans in Chicago at about 5% is slightly higher than the percentage in the U.S. At the University of Illinois, Chicago, among a campus of nearly 28,000 students, about 20% of the student body are classified as Asian American. The face of Asian Americans at UIC is ethnically diverse, spanning Chinese, Indian, Filipino, and Korean to Vietnamese, Laotian, and Japanese. Crowded into a cramped Asian American resource and cultural center, there is a solidarity. When people see my face, they see an Indian, and they see, oh, she'd be a great doctor. And because of that stereotype, I've been expected to live up to that. And because of that model minority myth, I'm still continuing to become a doctor. It's not to say that I won't be happy being a doctor, but it's that I think I would be, I would be much more happy if I followed something from the heart. Many of my teachers haven't been Asian American, so it's hard for them to relate on the same basis that, you know, I face these difficulties at home, trying to cope with my parents wanting me to become a doctor, whereas I want to follow art and English. They realize that, but they haven't gone through it. The model minority myth applies to a lot more than just what I saw. I didn't necessarily get hurt by the myth, but then it kind of hurt me in a way that it really distorted my image of myself. I might have been funneled into the profession because my dad is a dentist. But I sometimes wonder, you know, is this really what I want to do? I mean, do I really, am I really happy? Because, you know, I would have loved to do art. You know, I would have loved to be in art school and I would have loved to like done theater more. And I wish I had the chance to kind of um, break out of just classical music and just start doing, you know, more music that I wanted to do. Um, but that was so far from what my parents were used to. Um, I just felt like I'd be kind of disrespecting my parents almost and kind of embarrassing them if I tried to do all these talent shows or something like that. Um, and so I always do wonder, you know, what would have happened if I kind of didn't go the stereotypical model minority route um, by becoming a dentist. And I, I really do wonder um, what kind of person I would have been. In grammar school, high school, I was the model minority myth. Um, not only did I get straight A's, I was in math team, Latin club, I, was, I'd even, I even did martial arts and, <laughs> and weight training. So I was an all-arounder. I played the piano, I played the viola, and it was, I didn't realize how intense my life was involved around this, like being a model. And I also have a little sister, so I have to be a role model to her, and she looks up to me for those things. In college, that sort of all reversed itself, and I felt like I was, I was doing these things, but I have no interest in them. I started questioning myself, is that what I want? Is, is money, is, is success, like materially, is material comfort what I want in life? And it's not. And, I, and after I separated myself from this model image of myself, I actually enjoyed school more. And it's, it's easier for me to work hard for what I want. Do we understand how varied the experiences are among Asian Americans? Every group has multiple stereotypes. And Every group, I would argue, has contradictory stereotypes or things that seem contradictory. Um, and yet the model minority and the yellow peril stereotype have some very important similarities. Even though the, the model minority stereotype seems to be positive, hey, they're making it. Hey, they're great people to work with. Hey, they, are, they don't cause trouble. They're really quiet. It is still a stereotype. It is still a way of seeing a group um, through a very partial lens. It's really seeing the stereotype rather than seeing the group and treating them accordingly. And within education, of course, there are negative consequences, right? If you think someone's making it, you're less likely to give support. You're less likely to acknowledge that there's a diversity within that population and so on. So both stereotypes 
are about not really seeing the population, but rather seeing this image that we think that population is supposed to be. I think what I'm surprised by is how much uh, students do feel like their cultural background defines who they are from um, the way that other people treat them. And so they have to constantly negotiate this gap between their own self-perception and um, the external ways that they're being treated by faculty or other students. This struggle to define their major and what they ultimately want to do and whether they have to negotiate that with their parents or within themselves. I think my greatest concern is that sometimes I see students who are really on the verge of giving up. Um, they're, they're questioning whether they should be in college at all. The depression has led to, in, in some cases, students who have really had serious uh, suicidal thoughts or um, depression that's debilitating. I don't feel like a lot of Asian kids actually know what they want to do because it's so confusing because you're told to become a doctor and you're told to become a lawyer and you're, by so many parents, not just your own parents, but your parents' friends, by your church. Everyone is doing the same thing. Kids are afraid to say, you know, I'm in art school, I want to be an art major or something like that. There have been students who have committed suicide over stupid stuff like this. I mean, people blow this stuff out of proportion, academics. It's honestly ridiculous. I don't know what it is. I don't know why, even right now, like I'm still thinking about I have to get all A's this semester. Something I really, really regret uh, painfully regret is the fact that um, thinking that I was white, I really distanced myself from Asians. <laughs> I have many white friends. Because I thought I was white and because I was doing so well in school, you know, I didn't need to be Asian anymore. Um, and so I find myself alone a lot um, because I did that. I find myself not being on the same page as a lot of people. Not everyone is on the same page. Not everyone learns, not all, it's, it's wrong to stereotype and to assume that all Asian Americans are well in their studies because of assumed family um, support or assume that, you know, because of their family uh, traditions and culture that they don't require assistance. None of my parents have been to college. I'm the first one. And to be able to come to college and to have that type of support, I think it would be very helpful. The big problem with schools is the neglect of the Asian American student identity. And that school needs, schools need to start recognizing that and funding resources towards Asian American students also, just like they fund African American students and Latino students. So, and just because you're an Asian American student doesn't mean you're born with this whole dictionary in your head and this like algebra book and this we're not born with knowledge we come we learn we need help just like everyone else so we're just all humans in the end I believe <laughs>